Right. Hey folks, Super Dave down here with Jay down here. That's a cool rainy day on a on a Wednesday here, so we thought we'd go out and play some cards and, and talk about the uh, the outdoors RV product. One thing that stood out right away was two inch walls and the dual pane windows. You know? One of the things we like to talk about when we talk about insulation is is relating them to a cooler. So when you have dual pane windows or ther thermal pane windows, it's like if you built a Yeti cooler. We all know what a Yeti cooler is. They provide great insulation. That same Yeti cooler that's so good at keeping everything cold inside, you were to cut a hole in the side and put plexiglass in there. The question is, would it remain just as cold because it's such you know, a well-insulated cooler? But the fact is, your cooler is only as is insulated as its weakest thousand two. I've had some of the best salesmen in the world sell me some of the best things about their Arctic polar packages or whatever. Here's what I want. Um, I've always felt the best way to heat an underbelly is to enclose it, right? Not just enclose it with radiant heat, stick a nice sticker on it, call it Arctic package, you know, no, but actually enclose it and then let's build something around as you have a tank, right, that the tanks sit inside of, wrap with R38 um, reflective foil, heat reflective foil and then two layers of blanket R7 insulation. Then you duct the air down with spaces that lift the tank up off the ground so that air can circulate. It's the best system on the market. I mean, it's a trailer. There's only so much you can work with down there. But truly, you know, when you hear about polar packages and Arctic packages and all that stuff, that is just marketing. So if you want to kind of cut through it, any coach that's willing to put four season package on it, but you're willing to use that kind of language, is going to have a much more superior build. So Jay, it's kind of nice. We're sitting here in this 28 RKS Outdoors RV, um, Glacier Peak fifth wheel. And first thing that I know is comes to mind is how comfortable it is here and how cozy this rig is. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, the materials that they're using on this, this furniture is feels a lot thicker than your standard travel trailer or fifth wheel. I mean, it feels like it's a little bit more durable. It feels like it's a little bit wider. It's got more width to it. It feels like a chair you might find in a home. I agree, Jay. You know, I'm just kind of sitting here on this big old mountain couch, this big trifold sofa. And same thing. First thing that kind of stands out, first impression, is it's a very firm couch. It doesn't feel like I'm squishing all the way down through the bottom, you know. Um, it's not just here for looks. It does seem to have like, some heavy-duty function to it. Uh, much more residential feeling. Um, great bed to sleep on for the family. Another great option on this outdoor RV Glacier Peak fifth wheel is the electric fireplace. Guys, some of the benefits, right? On-screen display, very safe using the ceramic heat, uh, color-rich LED flame. We're also going to take a look. This thing heats up to a thousand square There's feet. There's only a couple brands of RV TVs that are really actually good TVs. One of the great things about a Furion TV is you've got a 4K ultra high definition screen. It's got climate smart control on it, right? Because you're in an RV and an RV is going to be exposed to extreme temperature changes, right? So you need the kind of TV that's built for that. And you need a TV that's built for vibration control and a smart TV. So with Outdoors RV and their Glacier Peak product, they didn't skimp on the TV for you guys. We can't talk about an RV without talking about the kitchen, guys. I'm excited to show you that they're this rear kitchen is actually designed to enhance your cooking experience. Guys, we've got solid surface countertops, Corian countertops. This is good stuff. We've got a recessed lid here, which make, gives you just a little bit more counter space. So when you're not cooking, it can be really accessible. We've got knife blocks, so things that we've thought about, guys. We have, again, let me show you guys the sink area. Everything's really laid out. Lots of counter space. Get back in here. Do what you need to do. Hey, Jay. One thing I noticed that's really great about this bedroom up here, very cozy, very comfortable mattress, full-size bed. I got a great storage over here. I have plenty of clothing, hanging closets, all that. I've got a Jack and Jill entrance to the bathroom right here. Well, hello. Envision this. 6'2", 260 pounds. Got lots of elbow room. I got shoulder space. Take a look at the shower. So, folks, that's the... Cut! So, folks, that's the Glacier Peak 28-foot rear kitchen by... This is... This is the ending of it. It's not the beginning. It's the ending. It's the ending. Okay. So folks, that's the 28 RKS Rear Kitchen Glacier Peak by Outdoors RV. So folks, that's the Glacier Peak 28 Rear Kitchen by Outdoor RV. <laughs> you got me laughing? <laughs>